I am so excited that the day is finally here. I cannot believe that my nursery is complete. Well, almost 100% complete. It's complete enough to actually do a nursery reveal with all of you. I'm so excited about this because even as I look around, it's turned out so beautiful. This is such a sweet room. I'm so excited about it. It's completely sentimental and I'm so excited that I get to share it with you. And thank you so much to Bear for sponsoring this video. to my nursery reveal. I am really excited because you've seen the design plan and now I'm in a position where almost everything has been ordered, which is really exciting. Nilo, my contractor, is here today, so we're gonna start doing work today. So like I was explaining before, I use this area as my office area, but I need to get all of the furniture out of here today because I think Nilo is gonna be starting with the beam and the electrical work. Chris and I found a crib and a dresser set on Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to repaint these pieces with one of the Bear Dynasty paints and We've got to move all of this stuff out so that Neil can start doing his work and then we are off to the races. So here we go. Why did you just put it on the desk? We just took it off the desk. We just put it on this desk. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to move it. That's why we need a bigger house. We're out of room. Wait, are you going to help? Are you helping with the baby's room? all these extra clothes. <laughs> right? Piece of cake? We have a wallpaper dilemma. Okay, what's the dilemma? So we have this pink wallpaper that we really like. There's a blue version that they call the Silver Lake. I am worried that this is not gonna get here in time. But the blue is available? Probably not. <laughs> you think we should just order it? Mm -hmm. But what if it doesn't get here in time? You can't return it. But you can't. No. So I found some other options just to see what your thoughts would be. There's something like this. That's pretty dark. You think it's too dark? Mm -hmm. There's something like this. Mm -hmm. There's something like this. Yeah, I don't mind that one. Do you like it better than the pink? I can't stand designing for myself because I change my mind constantly. Can't do it. I can't do it. If we could have either one of these on time, mm -hmm. Would you actually prefer this one or would you prefer this one? I think I would prefer this one, but... You prefer the pink? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. What do you think, Milo? Do you think it's too girly? Uh, it is pretty girly. It depends. I'm having oh, a boy. No. No. I put pursue like better, like feminine color. So you think we should just order it? Mm -hmm. You do? Mm -hmm. He likes the pink. <laughs> <laughs> and cross my fingers that it gets here on time. Get on it. Today, it sounds like we're laying down some floor protection. We're going to start with the electrical work. He's going to build the frame for the beam. We're going to do all that today. Hope so. <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> It better get here. <laughs> the order's placed, so all we can do is wait. Mm -hmm. That's all we can do. Yeah. Okay, great. Good morning, everyone. 
everyone. It is officially day three of my nursery renovation and today is going to be a big painting day. To give you guys an update, we've completely cleaned out the nursery. The wiring has been done to bring the electrical to a point where I can have a chandelier. So I'm very excited about this. Milo was here yesterday. He built the frame for the beam that's going to go up tomorrow. Oh, I screwed up. You screwed up? I, I measured no, seven didn't. and a half, but because I'm gonna sandwich it, so I just take it less leg like one inch. Is that right? Okay. It's all fixable. Yeah, no. Thank gosh. It's the same one. And the moldings on the walls are also going to go up tomorrow. Now, I decided that. Now, I decided that it would be way easier to paint the walls before these moldings go up. So today we're going to get paint on the walls, get this place looking nice and fresh so that moldings are ready to go up tomorrow. I'm really excited because, as you know, I've partnered with Bear Paint for this nursery renovation and I've got four actually great colors. When I had renovated this space and we painted it, this paint, funny enough, has a little bit of a pinky undertone. Because I've got the pink chinoiserie going on the walls in between the panels, I'm a little concerned that with the walls the way they are right now, it's gonna be way too much pink, like too much pink. And so I wanna clean up the walls a little bit, make them a little bit more crisp. So we're gonna be painting the walls with the Bear Dynasty Whisper White. You gonna help? You gonna help? We're also going to start tackling painting the crib and the dresser today. I've decided to use Bear's Cracked Pepper color. So it's a rich black color and uh, I want this nursery to feel chic and sophisticated. So that's why I'm going to introduce some black in this space. Um, so we're going to do that as well today. these paint spouts. It makes it so much easier to pour. Thank you. So this came recommended to me and apparently if you have a steady hand, which I do, you can get a perfect corner done with this edger. I think I'm better off just using a brush. You're gonna try the edger thing. Don't try it on an edge. <laughs> Don't. You know why we are using the Bear Dynasty paint? This is like their most high-end line of paint. And it's fast drying which I'm really excited about because we don't have a lot of time. I never have a lot of time, but it's also stain repellent and scuff resistant, which makes me really excited because there's white that's going on the walls and there's going to be a baby in this room. So I feel like having paint that's stain repellent and scuff resistant might be a really good thing for a kid's room. Absolutely. Okay, so I feel like we scored with our dresser and crib purchase. We are going to spruce these up with some paint. We're gonna go over this with a little bit of a finish remover, and then we're gonna try to paint this ourselves with the Bear Dynasty Cracked Pepper color. I'm hoping that by the time this is done, this is gonna look slick and clean and good as new. I still have to find some new hardware, which I haven't done yet, but that will come in the next couple days. It does look very gray. I think we should go darker. I think the black would be nice.
is starting to take shape and I could not be happier with it. Although I hope the ceiling is not too pink. <laughs> Let's talk about what's been done. Obviously this room has been completely cleared out. The walls have been painted in whisper white. The moldings have all gone up. I love how these moldings add a dimension to the room and interest. And I'm really excited that wallpaper is going to be going up in these panels. So yesterday when I showed up at the end of the day, I got to see the pink for the first time and I love the color. This is the sun washed brick. There's some gray undertones to the pink. So it's a little bit more of like a dust rose which is really trending right now so the color itself is definitely on point the beam has also gone up there's a few more boards that need to go up and be installed the beam along with the pink ceiling is adding a ton of visual interest to the ceiling in this room I feel like it's starting to take shape and it's looking really cute and Thank God. So the chinoiserie has arrived. This looks so good. By the time this is done today, I'm gonna have a very pink, feminine, girly, little baby's room. Who knew that I would go for this much pink? I definitely did not, but I'm kind of loving it. Hi, Hi Santos. Hi. How are you? It's beautiful. Yeah. Very yeah. But that's what you're good at. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want bubbles. No, we don't bother those wrinkles. It's like a milk. Don't drink it though. Okay. When you say Marie-Fly in, in French, Marie-Pose. Papillon. out the lighting real quickly I'll just tell you what how high to hang it will you fit under it hun you won't hit your head no. hello everyone welcome to my crib Front and center in this room is the crib. Chris found the crib and the dresser that we have in this room for $40 on Facebook Marketplace. They were in kind of a dark, ugly brown color that I wasn't too happy with. We've repainted them in a black finish. This is from the Bear Dynasty paint collection, and this is just their true black color. I love how this turned out because it's chic, and sophisticated. I love that the crib looks this way because I feel like it just elevates this room entirely. Behind me and on all of the walls, we've installed moldings. These applied moldings are the exact same moldings that we actually have in the principal bedroom. The only thing that's different is that we painted the walls in the bare whisper white. What I love about these paints is that they're stain repellent, they're scuff resistant, and so I feel like this being a baby's room, <laughs> that is super, super important, especially with a white paint. Now inside the panels, you can see the beautiful wallpaper. I have to say it feels really youthful, it feels really sweet, it's perfect for a nursery. I love that there's this painterly and illustrative quality on the walls and the layering of the print with the moldings, the pink wallpaper, the white paint. I feel like it just makes the walls feel really beautiful, elevated, layered, and again, really sophisticated for a nursery. This room has always been one of my favorite rooms in the house. Actually, the favorite 
room in the house. The reason for that is because this room has high ceilings and it has a ton of really great natural light that comes into this space. With the high ceiling, I wanted to do something a little bit more dramatic and decided to paint the ceiling pink. This color is from the Bear Dynasty collection. It's the sunwashed brick color. I really love it. It's got this a little bit of almost a vintage quality to it. It's like a dusty rose kind of pink color, which is really on trend right now. Surprisingly, I was really inspired to incorporate pink into the nursery. This is something that was a little bit of a surprise and a twist, even for myself. I did not think I was gonna go in this direction, but I wanted to see how I could incorporate pink and do it in a really sophisticated way. So the sunwash brick color from Bear Dynasty was the perfect choice for my nursery. Um, the other reason why I wanted to use Bear Dynasty is because it's a super premium paint and the Dynasty collection is the best of Bear. So pairing the sunwash brick with the white and the black, it just feels really chic, it feels really sophisticated, and it totally feels like the kind of nursery that I would have. So I'm standing underneath the chandelier, and I love the chandelier. I'm so happy with it. There's so much going on in the room with the paint colors, the wallpaper, the black accents, that having just a really simple and elegant chandelier in this space elevates the space even more. The chandelier is suspended off a brand new beam. As you guys know, I really wanted to install this beam from the very beginning of the renovation. I love that it brings in a wood quality, a little bit more of a rustic quality. I think having a beam in this room adds so much more character to the space. I have a brand new glider which I'm really excited about. This is from Crate and Barrel. What I love about this glider is the shape. It's got really great curves. It looks really modern. It's fun and whimsical. And then the footstool also doubles as storage, which is really awesome. I finished off the room with some drapery. So with the baby's room, of course, you're gonna need blackout blinds. These blinds are just from Urban Barn. And I brought in sort of a deeper, forest green color. It plays off of the wallpaper and it just brings another layer into the space. There's a few accessories in this space like some greenery. I think it's really lovely to have some greenery, some life in a baby's room. I think it's really sweet to do that. And then I also have this tall giraffe that came from West Coast Kids. I love this draft so much. <laughs> I've seen photos of this and when I saw this tall draft and other photos, I knew I needed to have one in my own nursery. So I'm really, really excited about this guy. Last but not least, the dresser and the change table. The dresser was painted in the Bear Dynasty black paint. We finished the dresser and the crib in a semi-gloss finish, so there's a little bit more of a sheen to it. We also did that because semi-gloss is really great for cleaning, it's very wipeable, it's incredibly durable. Now I've ordered some knobs from Anthropology. They're really cute, they'll be here in a couple days. I wanted to do this reveal for you guys and show you um, this space so I'm not gonna wait for the knobs they'll be here by the time the baby comes and then this is the perfect place for some extra storage and a change table because this is right next to the bathroom all in all with the space plan I think it turned out great this room definitely feels spacious I love that the crib is front and center as soon as you walk in I love that we've got these high ceilings that are painted pink it definitely feels like a girl's room but it feels like a girl's room in the best way possible. The glider works really well in front of the window and then this space is perfect as a dresser, storage, and change table. Now that this nursery is done, I can look back and say, oh my gosh, the design process was so much fun. As a designer, I think whenever you're designing for yourself, it's always, always, always challenging. Designers like many different styles and it's really hard to commit to one direction. So even just in designing this one room, I definitely changed my mind quite a bit. My team has been amazing pulling this off. We did this in such a short amount of time, but seeing the end results, I couldn't be happier with the way that it looks. How do you think the nursery turned out? I think it's great. 
I really like it. I love the color. You like Believe the pink? Yeah, I it was very uh, cautiously optimistic initially, but I had my doubts, but um, it does look really nice. You like it? I do. Just the right amount of girly. Just the right amount of girly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was the most challenging part of designing this face? The painting of uh, the crib and the dresser mm -hmm. was a little bit challenging, especially doing it on, on my own. How are you? Sore. Sore back. Sore back? <coughs> Me. Any other challenges? Um, no, just coordinating the, well, Nilo, the handyman, and they worked until 10 o'clock almost every night. Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. What was it like working with me? It has challenges as well. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You are so good to work with. Oh, of course. Yeah, I'm very easygoing. You are very easygoing. Mm -hmm. How do you feel now that it's all done? Uh, I think it looks great. Yeah, it feels really good. It's a lot of work, but uh, I think it turned out nicely. You're happy with it? Yeah, quite happy with it. What about you, Oscar? Are you happy with it? Good job. It looks great in here. <laughs> we, yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, it does. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. This has been so fun to share this design process with you. And now finally the reveal of the nursery. I can't wait to read all of your comments to see what you think. Definitely comment below and let me know what your favorite aspect is of my nursery. I would love to hear from you. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Should we come up with a painting plan? Sure. Oh my God, there's a spider. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good call.